Imagine traveling across an entire country in just hours, charging an electric vehicle at one of millions of stations, or even skipping traffic altogether in a flying taxi. China's transportation innovations are turning these ideas into reality. While many nations work to modernize infrastructure, China has rapidly transformed its systems with cutting-edge engineering and technology. Today, we explore how China's advancements are shaping the future of transportation and setting a global benchmark. Let's dive in. China's high-speed rail network is a marvel of modern engineering. Stretching over 25,000 miles, it's the largest system of its kind, connecting cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Chengdu. Trains on this network reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour, 217 miles per hour, significantly reducing travel times. For example, a journey between Beijing and Shanghai that once took over 12 hours now takes less than five. The construction of this network is an engineering feat. Massive viaducts, complex tunneling systems, and innovative track designs enable these trains to maintain high speeds safely and efficiently. Specially designed bridges and earthquake-resistant structures ensure the system remains reliable even in challenging conditions. This network now carries over 2 billion passengers annually, demonstrating how infrastructure can transform mobility on a massive scale. Beyond convenience, high-speed rail has had a profound economic and environmental impact. It connects remote regions to urban hubs, boosting local economies and opening new opportunities for business and tourism. In 2023 alone, tourism revenue generated by rail-linked areas exceeded $150 billion. Additionally, the network significantly reduces reliance on air and road travel, cutting millions of tons of carbon emissions annually. China has become a global leader in electric vehicle, EV adoption, with over 6 million EVs sold in 2023, more than the rest of the world combined. Behind this success is a combination of engineering, infrastructure, and innovation. Companies like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng have developed advanced EV technologies, creating vehicles that are efficient, reliable, and increasingly affordable. One of the standout achievements is China's extensive charging network. With over 4 million public charging stations nationwide, including fast charging hubs in urban centers and along highways, EV owners enjoy unparalleled convenience. Shenzhen, for example, was the first city in the world to transition its entire public bus fleet to electric, showcasing how citywide infrastructure can make a significant impact on urban sustainability. Battery technology has also seen remarkable progress. Chinese manufacturers are advancing solid-state battery designs, increasing range and reducing charging times. These innovations not only support domestic adoption, but also position Chinese companies as major players in the global EV market. The widespread transition to EVs is reducing urban pollution and advancing the shift to renewable energy sources. Urban air mobility is no longer a concept of the future. It's a field actively being developed, with China leading the charge. Companies like Ehang are pioneering electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft designed for passenger and cargo transportation. These flying vehicles are compact, energy efficient, and capable of autonomous operation, offering a glimpse into the future of urban travel. Test flights have demonstrated the feasibility of using EVTOLs in congested cities. Ehang's two-seater passenger drones, for instance, can travel at speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour, providing a potential solution to traffic congestion. Cities like Guangzhou are hosting trials in designated air corridors, supported by advanced air traffic control systems. The engineering behind these aircraft involves lightweight materials, energy-efficient propulsion systems, and cutting-edge software for autonomous navigation. As urban air mobility matures, it promises to reduce travel times, ease ground traffic, and create entirely new modes of transportation. 
China's transportation advancements extend beyond high-speed rail, EVs, and air mobility. The country is investing heavily in autonomous driving and smart infrastructure. Companies like Baidu and Pony.ai are testing self-driving technologies in controlled environments and public roads with systems designed to improve safety and optimize traffic flow. Smart infrastructure integrates artificial intelligence, sensors, and data analytics into transportation systems. Real-time traffic monitoring, automated toll systems, and AI-driven route optimization are making travel more efficient across urban and intercity networks. Innovations like solar-powered highways and intelligent street lighting are further enhancing sustainability. Hyperloop technology is another area of exploration. This concept, involving ultra-high-speed travel through low-pressure tubes, could revolutionize long-distance transportation. Chinese researchers are working on prototypes that aim to reach speeds of over 1,000 km per hour, blending engineering ingenuity with futuristic design. While China has achieved remarkable progress, the U.S. faces unique challenges in advancing its transportation systems. High-speed rail in the United States, for instance, remains limited, with only the Acela Express operating on a 457-mile stretch in the Northeast Corridor. Developing such systems requires overcoming significant engineering hurdles, including modernizing rail infrastructure and addressing geographical constraints. Electric vehicle adoption in the U.S. is growing but faces obstacles such as fewer charging stations and higher upfront costs. However, American companies are making strides in battery innovation and vehicle design, contributing to the global push for electrification. Similarly, smart infrastructure initiatives in the U.S. are beginning to integrate AI and IoT technologies, paving the way for more efficient transportation networks. Both nations demonstrate the importance of engineering innovation in addressing transportation needs. While their approaches differ, the shared goal is clear, creating systems that are faster, safer, and more sustainable for future generations. China's advancements in transportation are influencing global engineering standards and inspiring innovation worldwide. Through projects like the Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, China is exporting its expertise in building railways, highways, and ports. The BRI has connected over 60 countries, facilitating trade and enhancing mobility on an international scale. The engineering achievements of these projects are immense, from constructing rail lines in mountainous regions to developing deep water ports capable of handling massive cargo volumes. These projects demonstrate the potential of large-scale infrastructure to transform economies and improve connectivity. Globally, nations are adopting lessons from China's transportation advancements to modernize their systems. Collaborative efforts in technology sharing, research, and engineering best practices are driving progress in countries seeking to improve mobility and sustainability. China's transportation revolution showcases the transformative power of engineering and technology. From high-speed rail and electric vehicles to urban air mobility and smart infrastructure, these advancements are redefining how people and goods move. These innovations not only solve immediate challenges, but also pave the way for a more connected and sustainable future. As nations around the world work to enhance their transportation systems, the focus remains on innovation, efficiency, and sustainability. The future of mobility is being built today, and the possibilities are as exciting as they are boundless. If you enjoyed this exploration of cutting-edge transportation systems, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more insights into engineering and technology shaping our world. What do you think is the most exciting part of this transportation revolution? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.